The nine best Shopify apps that will print money for your dropshipping store. What's going on everybody? My name is Ethan Dobbins and did you miss me? I hope you did. Maybe you're lying. I don't know. But today we are bringing out the absolute fire, the whole entire enchilada. This is some ghost pepper level of value that you're going to see in today's video. Now, the first app we're going to be covering today is Upsell Funnel Engine. Lately, this has become my sleeper pick for the best upsell app out there just because of its amazing design and the amount of customizations you can do for your upsells. So this is how it looks on your product page. It looks so natural and beautiful. I really do think it elevates a lot of product pages if you just look at this amazing design. So right here, I have a volume discount offer and you can choose the quantity, the discount, the most popular. There's so many different ways you can customize it. If we go into the settings here, you can customize where you actually place it, whether you want it to be on your product page or whether you want it to be a pop-up that happens after someone clicks add to cart. Right here, you can have scarcity. So if we save right here, we'll have a nice little timer. That's three minutes. So offer ends in three minutes just to add that scarcity, make people actually take the offer ASAP. So with Upsell Funnel Engine, I really do believe it is the best upsell app because it just looks so beautiful. There's so many ways you can customize it with upsell timers. So scarcity timers, you can customize the text, save money when you buy two or more. Honestly, a lot of the upsell language I do is just buy more, save more. That's typically the you know general idea of what I like to do with my messaging. You can customize it on your cart page. You can have it appear on your thank you page, on your home page. So many different ways you can customize it. You can do bundle upsells. You can do cross upsells. It really is the all-in-one tool for all your upsell needs. However, another upsell app I like to use, and that's our second app of the day, is Candy Rack. Now, the reason why I love it is because it even gives you suggestions for upsells to make even more money and increase your average order value from every single customer. And if you can make your customers more valuable to you, you can advertise for longer and make more profit. So what you can do is have a product upsell, so a regular one where, hey, you're buying one of this items, you can buy another one for a discounted rate. You can do smart upsells, so it upsells a different product that's completely different, but maybe it's complementary to the first product they're buying. Then you've got stuff like custom gift notes. I love doing extended warranties, like three months for $3. That almost always gets taken. You can even do an upsell where they get a monthly mystery product. I have tested that with my own jewelry brands and it has worked pretty well. Then first in line shipping is an absolute must. Just saying, hey, you get to skip the line and you'll get same day processing, which you should already be doing for your store. But obviously no one likes waiting. We like to feel like VIPs, celebrities skipping the line to the club. So when we click buy now on my website, as you can see, we have product upsells of a different version of a product. Then we have the first in line and extended warranty. And usually one of my customers will select either first in line or extended warranty. And in some cases, both. And that's just an extra $7 for every single customer. And that's usually for me, over 10% added value. Now an absolute must have app for your Shopify dropshipping store is Luke's Reviews. Now Luke's is a very simple app that allows you to import reviews from AliExpress onto your website. So once you import a product from AliExpress onto your website, all you have to do is go to the page, then click import to Luke's. It'll be a little button that you put in your bookmarks. Then click on the product you wanna add reviews for. So let's say for instance, it's this pyramid. You can choose up to 100 reviews with the pro plan and really with reviews, the more the merrier the more trustworthy you're gonna look and people gravitate towards popularity. If we see a lot of other people are loving a certain product and we see that they're leaving positive reviews, we are much more inclined to buying something. So let's say for instance, you see the same product but has 5,000 reviews on Amazon compared to another listing with five reviews, you're gonna choose the one that's more popular and has more reviews 100% of the time. And once you import it onto your store, you can customize the way it looks, whether it's the star color, having it yellow, black, whatever suits your website. Then we scroll down, this is what it's gonna look like, different pictures from the reviewers on AliExpress, different texts, the way that they're describing how amazing your product is. It looks really beautiful and it's an absolute must have if you wanna increase your conversion rate and just have more trust on your website. Now, if you're dropshipping and you wanna make your customers happy and not make them wait months for their order, I highly recommend using CJ Dropshipping. So I was doing research for a new store and I noticed that these chakra spiritual, very woo-woo pyramids were selling very well on AliExpress. So when I first was doing my supplier research, I first like to go onto AliExpress just to see if I can find the item. And I found it here for $26. There's no other supplier of this item on AliExpress, but Shipping times are gonna be a month and 26 seems really high for these pyramids. I went on to CJ Dropshipping, I looked up pyramid and I found this same exact pyramid with the same exact photos with eight to 13 day shipping and guess what? It costs 
half the price, $12 compared to 26. So more than 50% margins I'm making. So I could sell my item for a reasonable cost of $39.99 and still get over $25 margins instead of if I posted $39 with $26 cost, I'm barely making anything at all. So with CJ, I'm getting happy customers because it's faster shipping and I'm happier because I'm paying half the cost I would have with AliExpress. And even if you can't find the exact product on CJ Dropshipping, you can post a sourcing request and usually within two to three days, some supplier will hit you up with the target price that you want for your product. So for this instance, we put in the product name, so Crystal Pyramid. Our target price is around $15, that's pretty reasonable. And then we click drop shipping. you copy and paste the AliExpress URL and sourcing URL, and then all you have to do is copy this description, paste it into the description section, and boom, you're good to go. Now real quick, if you wanna download any of these apps, all the links will be down in the description because you know your boys gotcha. Now if you wanna scale your dropshipping or e-commerce brand to the next level, email marketing is an absolute essential. You're just leaving money at the table if you're not doing it, and I understand it's not super sexy, but basically with Clavio, you can set up different flows when it comes to a welcome series flow that is about two to three emails that can just introduce your brand and tell people why they should shop from you, why it's trustworthy, this story behind it. And I also like to do customer win back flow. So if someone shops for me, it's very easy to convince someone to buy from you again, who's already shopped from you when comparing it to someone who's never shopped from you. So you should have email flows about two to three emails just saying, hey, we noticed you haven't visited in a while. We have this new promotion or this new sale and you should check it out. Now, the other email app I'd like to use for abandoned carts and abandoned checkouts, which is a absolute must, is Abandonment Protector. I basically send everyone three emails that abandons cart just to remind them that, hey, real quick, looks like you've forgotten something. It's super simple email. You can copy and paste this into your own brand. It just shows the product they left in the cart. If they have any questions, just feel to reach out. I put a name, email, address, all that different stuff so they can reach out to me and it looks super trustworthy. Second email, I just send a discount code because the two main reasons why people abandon cart is the lack of trust or the price was too high. So I do give them a 15% off discount code. I make it look super personalized. You can create this in the discount section of your Shopify account. Super simple to do. And I like to do a bit of scarcity just so that incentivizes people to shop now ASAP. So all you would do is click create discount code. I just literally just type in a bunch of random things so that it looks customized. I throw in some numbers. I do a percent discount value, 15% or 5%, whatever you want to do. I recommend 10 to 20% as the discount offer. You click save, then you just copy and paste it right here. Super duper simple. This is the rest of the email, nothing too crazy. And then the third email is just reiterating that, hey, there's some scarcity to this. You only have three hours left. So you better be splashing that cash as soon as you see this email. Now, another way to follow up with people who abandon your website in the best possible way is through text message marketing. From my own experience of doing text message marketing for the last year, I've noticed that my open rates on my emails compared to SMS are not even close. My email open rates around 20 to 30% compared to my SMS being three times that at 70 to 80%. And all you have to do with SMS bump is set up three texts. So I like to text people five minutes, 30 minutes, and 12 hours after they've abandoned cart. And I'll just show you real quick what these text messages look like. Obviously, you want to personalize it to your own brand. So real quick, hey name, we noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart. If you're ready to complete your order, and this is the default message on SMS bump, and it works so well. I've split test trying to do my own different, you know, unique twist on it. But for some reason, the SMS bump people have really figured out what's the best way of reaching out. The 30 minute text message, I like to do a discount code, just incentivizing people to really come back because hey, you're getting money saved. We're giving you this discount code. We're throwing out this line for you because we really want you to become a customer. So we do a little 10% off discount code. You can create this in the discount code section of your Shopify account. And then for my third text message, let's just go back real quick, click on edit really sweet i'm just doing hey sean this is blank from zen galaxy i want to remind you so this is a reminder about the discount code and also giving them some scarcity saying hey this expires in the next 12 hours so if you really want to get the item that you were in your cart you're gonna buy it now. Now, I hate designing my own websites because I suck at coding. I don't like to design the pages. It's just super tedious and I usually outsource this process, but this one Shopify app has actually made me love designing my websites. Now, your product pages are your money makers, so you wanna put a ton of time into customizing the template for all the different ones. Now, 
with the basic themes i've noticed that the add to cart button which is the most important button it typically doesn't look very noticeable it doesn't really stand out but with gem pages you can completely customize the size the color the text every little detail you can add a countdown timer to have scarcity on your different offers you can customize where your description is laid out you can customize where the reviews are you can have different sections like why shop from us this right here i believe looks super professional and i noticed a lot of big brands do this just to show you a little bit of a before and after i mean look at this horrible basic ass product page it looks so bad no one's gonna shop from this maybe a few people will because they really like the product but the new and improved one just looks so much more branded we have different apps like upsell funnel engine for our upsells we have a sticky add to cart also going on here it just looks so much more professional it's laid out properly we have a frequently asked questions section that i was able to make real quick all you have to do just scroll down you have this little section right here the accordion where you can put your faq and organize it very beautifully and then at the bottom you have your reviews that also are sorted very very nicely as you can see on the left side they have a whole section where you can add headings separators tabs so many different ways you can customize it you really have to play around and honestly i like to look at my own competitors and just try to model what they're doing so if i see bits and pieces from their website that I want to put onto mine without having to do any custom coding. I go straight into gem pages, look at all the different options they have. And all you have to do is just drag and drop it right in and then boom, shakalaka, you can add whatever you want and make it look very, very nice. Now a very underrated app that not a lot of dropshippers are using is sticky add to cart. Now the reason why Amazon is one of the biggest e-commerce businesses in the world is because of how convenient and easy it is to purchase from them. All it takes is one click at the buy now button. They have all of your information already pre-filled out. You click place your order and boom, that's all you have to do. Now with Globo Sticky Add to Cart, you can customize this amazing Sticky Add to Cart button that when you scroll down on your product page, automatically has a call to action button that your customer can press when they're convinced that this is the product that they want. So maybe they're in this section where they're reading reviews and they're ready to buy and all they have to do just for convenience sakes is click this buy now button and it takes them straight to the checkout. And if you have upsells, you have upsells there but that's all it takes. Really, you just wanna do whatever it takes to make the buying process convenient because even though this seems like nothing, just scrolling all the way back up top to the buy now button, it does make a difference. You wanna make this process as seamless and as easy as possible, just like Amazon. You can customize the text of the add to cart button, you can customize the color, you can do so many different things with this, but really, if you keep it simple and nice, that's the best way of doing it. Now, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to leave a like because it really helps out the channel. Now, before you run ads internationally to Great Britain, Australia, all these different countries, you want to make sure you have a currency converter set up. My personal favorite is Best Currency Converter. It only costs about $9 a month. And basically how it works is that it uses the IP address of the customer that's landing onto your website. And based upon that, it switches the currency to their native currency. As you can see with this app, we have the auto switch option that allows us to do that based on the customer's location. You can choose all the different currencies you want to hold. You can have flags if you want. You can really customize it. Personally, I like to have it in the bottom left corner here so if someone lands on my website and let's say they're in Canada but they're really an American visiting Canada they can choose US dollar euro British pound sterling and it automatically converts so that's just a great way to increase your conversions if you are advertising internationally so I highly recommend having that and that's going to cover the nine apps you need to make more money with your dropshipping store if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like down below subscribe and I'll see you in the next video